All right. So again, welcome to our Warrior Wednesday workshop. Um, today we will be talking about internships and the process. Um, we'll dive into some uh, tips and tricks and things. A little bit about me. Uh, my name is Jessica Donner. I am the coordinator for career and professional development here at AM Central Texas. In my role, I um, interact with students one on one and in group sessions and conduct presentations on all things career readiness. Today, we are going to be focusing on internships. So, we'll start out with a little bit about what an internship is, why you might consider becoming an intern, how you can get started if you're not sure where you want to begin. And then some pro tips um, that I can share with you uh, to hopefully uh, make this process a little bit easier and less confusing. So we're going to demystify what is an internship, why you might be coming an internship, an intern, uh, or taking advantage of an internship, um, how you might get started, and then some quick tips. So talking a little bit more about what an internship is. So an internship is a temporary uh, job or opportunity. Um, that will help you to gain uh, experience in your field of interest while you're in school. Um, so this could be a, you can cast a wide net and you can complete multiple internships during your time in college, both as an undergrad and a graduate. Typically, um, you would complete your internships while you are enrolled in classes, but there are post-graduation internships available. So if you are thinking, this is my last um, semester, we're already halfway through, um, you know, is there enough time for me to have an internship? There are some post-graduate internships, especially in federal government um, and in some of the STEM fields. So uh, fear not, worry not, um, internships can still be for you. Finally, um, internships can be paid. Um, that's our preferred time. Uh, we all want to be uh, paid for our time, but they could also be unpaid. So experiential learning um, where you are paid by gaining skills. Uh, for credit, this would mean that you would work with your faculty advisor and potentially get college credit towards your graduation for completing the internship. And they generally last for a single semester. Um, there are some internships that might be a little bit longer. There are things called micro internships that might be a little bit shorter. Uh, we're not gonna get into the in intricacies of all of the different types of internships. Um, I encourage you to meet with our team um, if you want to explore potential opportunities um, and discuss the different types in more granular detail. But in general, um, they may be paid or unpaid, for credit, not for credit, um, and they will generally last for a single semester. So why should you consider being an intern? While you're in school and after graduation, it's an opportunity for you to gain real world experience to help you build your resume um, and also make you a competitive candidate uh, for when you start to look for employment in your career field. So um, if you are changing careers, we have a lot of adult students on our campus here. Um, and so if you're changing careers, you might consider doing an internship to gain some additional um, experience in the new field that you're going into. If you are a student who has little to no work experience, this is an excellent opportunity for you to gain some of those skills that you would uh, premiere on your uh, resume and then bring to the jobs that you're interested in applying for. You get to learn from experts in your field. So this is a really important um, reason for considering an internship. Whenever you're interacting with professionals doing the jobs that you might be interested in, you're going to be able to see a day in the life of, right? So a lot of times we might be able to cast a wide net um, and we think we know we, what we want to pursue post-graduation, but we're not really sure. For example, I met with a student who wanted to become a data scientist, but she had never actually met a data scientist. So an internship might be an excellent opportunity for you if you're wanting to get more information about uh, what that job really means, what a day in the life of is, and then you also get to benefit from learning from experts in the field that you're interested in. You're able to develop important skills that are going to be unique to the career field that you're interested in. Again, um, learning from those experts, you're going to be able to uh, do what is called a skill gap analysis. You'll be able to understand what you've learned 
and what you uh, still need to learn in order to be prepared for that career. Throughout the internship, you'll be able to gain some of those skills and get some mentorship, which takes me to my final point. You're going to be able to connect with professionals, build your professional network, and find mentors. Creating a professional network is going to become more and more important as you move throughout your career and you continue to advance. Now, if you are a student who has little to no experience, if you're changing careers, um, this is an, uh, an opportunity for you to meet with professionals, um, create relationships with them, and then find mentors who can kind of help you understand um, where you're at now know what your goals are and then help guide you through that um, in a specific role. So career and professional development is absolutely here to help. Your faculty members are here to help as well. But learning from professionals that are on the job, um, doing the work that you would like to do in your career will become invaluable. Also, about 40% of jobs are going to be filled by people that people know. So building that professional network, connecting with people that are in the field that you're interested in might also produce some future opportunities. So I'm going to check in uh, with everyone. Is there any questions so far about what an internship is, why you might consider becoming an intern, um, or when you might be able to complete an internship? Um, Michelle asks a question. So students often ask if they will be guaranteed jobs with the company after they intern. What would you say to that? So while I would love to say yes, um, I cannot in good faith tell you that it will result in a job post um, internship. Um, when you're completing the internship, my advice is to have those conversations with the um, with your internship mentor or manager um, and understand what the employment opportunities might look for, like for you at their organization. So there's no guarantee that you would be provided a full time position with the organizations that you um, internship with. They might not have budget or availability to create permanent positions, uh, but they do have some flexibility in order to have some uh, students learning from their staff in an internship capacity. Uh, very often, internships can turn into full-time work, um, but it is not going to be guaranteed. Um, one thing about internships, um, even if it doesn't turn into a full-time permanent position, you're building those networks. So even if they don't have a job that's available now, um, based on your experience and your performance in that role as an intern, they may reach out to you in the future about future opportunities. Great question. Any others in the chat box or if anybody wants to turn on their microphone, I'd love to hear from you. No? Okay, so let's keep going. Um, let's talk about um, what you can do uh, to get started in order to um, start your internship career while you're in school or post-graduation. So the first step is that you're going to want to identify your interests. Don't worry about being too specific when thinking about your career interests, especially if you are in a field where you can cast a wide net, or maybe you're still trying to figure out what you would like to do with the degree that you're earning now. Um, it can be very beneficial for you to complete a number of uh, internships throughout your um, career as a student that will give you opportunities to gain experiences in a number of fields if you're unsure about what you want to do after graduation. If you are feeling very confident um, in what work you would like to do, um, that you would want to make sure that you're identifying potentially the industries that you're interested in. Um, are you interested in an online internship, a flexible internship where you would be um, at the brick and mortar location for part of the time and online for part of the time? Do you want to travel? Do you want to do something like go to Disney and be um, on their campus and away from your home, um, gaining experience in that type of environment? So it's not necessarily just your career interests, but also the interests um, that you have, you know, shaping the environment and the access that you have to that internship. Once you've identified some areas of interest um, and thought about what your needs are for the location or access to the internship, you want to make sure that your resume and you are interview ready. 
Okay, so if you haven't had a resume review with Career and Professional Development, you want to schedule an appointment with us to have your professional documents reviewed um, so that they're ready when you are. Um, so I, at the end of this presentation, will go into Handshake and show you how you can do that. Um, but you want to make sure that you're meeting with us sooner rather than later. The last thing that you want is to find an internship that you're really interested in um, and then have it be closing that same day and have our schedules be booked and we're not able to see meet with you. Uh, so make sure that you're scheduling uh, appointments with us sooner rather than later to have your um, resume reviewed. We can also discuss with you some networking strategies, interview tips. We can do mock interviews so that you can feel confident and prepared when you start to have conversations with recruiters and employers about your goals and potential internship opportunities. You're also going to want to uh, prepare your introduction. This is sometimes you'll hear this be talked to you about as your elevator pitch, your 30 second commercial, um, your uh, about you um, introduction, all of these things. But what this really is, is a brief introduction to who you are, what you're doing and what your goals are. You wanna make sure that you are uh, prepared with that so that when you start to network, um, you have it in your pocket at the ready so that you can introduce yourself. Make sure that you talk with faculty about potential employers and industries that you might want to intern with. You want to talk here with us at CPD. Um, we would love to chat with you about what your goals are. You can also chat with your advisors um, and talk to them about what type of internship you want, especially if you're interested in an internship for credit. You want to make sure that you're keeping your faculty advisor um, in the loop. Uh, because they would be the ones that would approve that for credit internship. So you don't want to go rogue. You don't want to go at it alone. You have a lot of resources. Um, tap into your network and make sure that you're taking advantage, which takes us to our next point. You want to make sure that you're tapping in to your network of resources. So um, while you're building relationships and you're chatting with faculty or coming to CPD, um, you're finding opportunities to interact with employers, maybe at an employer spotlight, which we host every other Wednesday, a little plug for that. Um, you also wanna make sure that you're tapping into the additional resources that you have here on campus. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you are creating and updating your LinkedIn profile. Um, if you don't have a LinkedIn profile and or if you have one and you feel like it needs a little TLC, you can certainly schedule an appointment with me. I'd love to help you with that. Um, and then you also want to make sure that you're checking in with your other resources to identify opportunities. So that would be like Handshake, um, doing a quick search in Handshake for internships to find those opportunities that are available with employers that are connected with our university. You can use search engines like Indeed and LinkedIn, internships.com, which is dedicated to finding internships. Don't forget to check employer websites as well. So some employers will have internship programs that are designed and hosted directly on their websites and not necessarily linked out to those other search tools. So if there's an industry or uh, a specific organization that you're interested in, you might do a quick search to find um, internships with those businesses and then go check out their website specifically because they might have some more information for you there. For instance, there's an uh, employer that is connected with us that often comes to our events um, and they have a very specific style for approaching internships. They don't post internship opportunities um, on their website or any other search engines. They encourage students to come talk with them, schedule time with them um, and learn more about their organization so that they can develop internships for those students. So they're not necessarily recruiting for interns, but they do have internships available. So make sure that you're tapping into resources like CPD and faculty member for those connections. And don't forget that you wanna make sure that all of your documents um, and LinkedIn profiles are ready to go. And then finally, you wanna make sure that you are attending the career fair. We host two um, career fairs here at a Central Texas. Uh, one in the fall semester, which is coming up next Tuesday, October 19th. Um, it will be virtual through Handshake. If you haven't registered, I highly encourage you to go register for the fair. Once you're registered, you will need to choose sessions to connect with employers. So each employer has scheduled a list of sessions that um, their recruiters will be available. 
Uh, there are two different session types that you can choose from. You can attend a 30 minute informational session, which is a group session where you'll get information uh, from the recruiter about the organization, their open opportunities, and that will give you an opportunity to also interact with them and ask questions. Um, the second type of session is going to be a 10 minute one on one session with that um, employer recruiter. And so that's going to be a meaningful connection um, for you to ask questions and talk about their opportunities. Make sure that you would attend the career fair, even if you're not looking for an internship or a job right now. This is a great opportunity for you to do some networking, build your professional network. Having those meaningful connections with them uh, may result in opportunities in the future. You also want to make sure that you're checking out um, any additional career fair opportunities that are happening out in the community. Uh, Fort Hood offers a mega fair uh, once a year. Um, and then there are some independent school districts that will do teacher fairs uh, for their school districts specifically. So make sure that you're connecting with us. Keep an eye out on your Canvas notifications. We try to share those as much as we can. Um, but if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us. Any questions about some of the things that you can do to get started um, to prepare yourself for an internship? So, okay. are we saying that the career fair teaching, I guess, registration is closed? Um, and it shouldn't be that way for students. So, I need to check into that. So, um, the career fair registration is closed for employers. Um, student registration is currently open right now. If you're an employer who would like to connect um, for the career fair, registration for employers has closed. Um, so that way our students are able to uh, choose sessions and be prepared for Tuesday. Um, if you are a student and you're attempting to register and it's telling you that it's closed, I'm gonna encourage you to reach out to us. Um, I'll have some contact information on this screen at the end of the um, presentation, or we can even stay um, a little bit later and, and kind of walk through it a little bit. Okay, so it's not letting you choose sessions. So yeah, let's make sure that we connect offline and we'll uh, walk through it together. I'll pull my uh, student profile up in Handshake and we'll kind of take a look at what that looks like as well. Um, are we able to help with doing what, Victoria? Are you able to help us with doing that? I'm not sure which part that was. Asking for an internship. We are absolutely able to help you with that. If it's not posted, um, we can also make a connection between you and an employer to discuss additional opportunities with them. For that specific um, employer who uh, would like for the students to reach out to them, I would be happy to make that connection. They're a lot of fun. And they have a lot of different opportunities. You're welcome. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, go back to our presentation um, and talk a little bit more about some tips. I know that this is kind of a quick one, um, but really, um, the idea of searching for internships is going to be very similar to looking for a job, um, but how you prepare for an internship might be a little bit different um, as far as the type of conversations that you would be having in, with employers and some of the requirements for the job. So um, first, you want to make sure that you're taking advantage of our resources. So at Career and Professional Development, we have a number of resources that will help prepare you for internships from the search process, your application process, interviewing, and then um, reviewing and accepting an offer. So we can help you through each step. Um, we can connect you with employers um, that we know that might have internships um, or that you might wanna chat with about potential opportunities. We offer the career fairs and we host uh, bi-weekly employer spotlights where we have employers come and chat about their organizations and open opportunities. Um, we have a variety of employers who are connected with our uh, university to kind of have a little bit of something for just about everybody um, that is taking classes here. Um, so I encourage you to reach out to us and take advantage of those resources again sooner rather than later um, because you wanna make sure that you're ready when those things pop up. 
um, you want to make sure that you're tapping into your network. Okay, so you're as a student, you kind of have a built in network, you can absolutely, uh, again, come and chat with us here at CPD. But you also have a phenomenal network of faculty members, advisors, and classmates that have real world experience that you can tap into and ask questions about potential um, internship opportunities or organizations um, that you might be interested in uh, working with. So make sure that you're taking advantage of your network, asking those questions, um, having those conversations with us, with your faculty members and advisors. And then finally, don't get discouraged. Um, as you are searching for internships, it can be um, overwhelming, just as it might be overwhelming when you're searching for a job. Some internships open uh, their application um, window at a very specific time. So you wanna make sure that you're paying attention to the descriptions of the application or any internship program information on the employer's website. Um, so right now, I can tell you that employers are starting to recruit for and fill their spring um, internships. So it's only October. It's mid-October right now, and they are looking to the spring. So it can happen fairly quickly. Um, so you want to make sure that you're paying attention, checking in uh, for new posts uh, throughout the rest of the semester if you're interested in uh, interning next spring. Some internships will also have very specific education requirements. So you might be asked to provide an unofficial transcript and have a specific GPA requirement or be in a program of study um, that is relevant to that internship. So make sure, again, that you're reading the uh, position description. If you feel confused, if you're not sure, come chat with us. You can send us the internship opportunity that you're interested in. We would be happy to reach out to that employer and get any clarification that we can for you. So don't get discouraged. If you're not in it alone, um, don't go rogue. Uh, make sure that you are uh, taking advantage of the resources, uh, the built-in network that you have here um, on campus, and make sure that you don't get discouraged. It can take a little bit of time to find an internship, but once you do, you'll find that the benefits are gonna far outweigh um, the grief. So with that, that is my quick, um, presentation on internships. I would love to chat with you about any questions that you have. If there's anything that you were hoping I would go over and I didn't, if there's anything you would like additional clarity on, um, I'd love to take this time with you now. Any questions? Okay, so what I'm going to do while you're thinking about your questions, I'm going to go ahead and uh, log in to my uh, student handshake account, and uh, we will talk about how you can register for the career fair and find those sessions. Uh, hopefully that will answer any questions that you have there. I will also show you how you can schedule an appointment with us. Are your internships separate from required like for a class? So internships, um, yes, the internships that I'm talking about are not necessarily going to be the field internships that you would have in some field classes, um, such as uh, social work or uh, clinical mental health counseling or even teachers here on our campus. They have built in internships into the curriculum. Um, and that would be separate from what I'm talking about here, where you would search for them and, uh, and apply. Um, the internships that you would uh, access through those um, field classes, teacher classes, clinical mental health, and so on, are part of the degree requirement. So these types of internships that we've been talking about today are really designed to give you real world experience um, in addition to your learning. Great question. So let me go ahead and get logged in here. And for those um, that are a part of your um, class assignment, your faculty member for that uh, class has relationships with um, employers whom they're gonna place you with. So um, even if you're not in those classes and you're interested in potentially finding an internship uh, with an employer like them, again, your faculty members are going to be an excellent resource in your network. Let me log in very quickly. All right. 
get past Duo for security. All right, so uh, this is what your Handshake account should look like whenever you are logging in to Handshake. Um, the uh, career fair is going to be under the events tab. So you're going to come up here to the left and click on events. I am currently registered for the career fair. So I can go ahead and click on that and see what um, is available. And so this is going to answer that question about finding sessions. So I'm going to scroll down. This I'm going to look at the employers that are attending and show all 33 of them. And let's uh, find one that maybe I'm interested in working with. So uh, this um, position is looking for jobs. Belton ISD will be uh, recruiting for teachers, I believe. Um, let's see, full and part time. Hmm. Oh, here's an internship, um, an organization that has identified that they are looking for internships. All right, so we've got a lot of different ones in here. So let me go ahead and take a quick look. Let me go back. I've registered my available sessions. This is where I'm going here. Okay, so fall 2021 virtual internship and career fair um, available sessions. I'm going to think about it and tell me what is available. So the Te Texas Department of Public Safety is having uh, a one-on-one -on uh, 22 individual sessions they have open here. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to show me available times. I can ask it to show me all of them. They have a number of recruiters who are coming to the fair. So they've made a lot of um, availability open here. So you can schedule around your classes if you have classes on Tuesdays. Um, so you can come in here and you can choose one of those information sessions and then you would click on confirm. I'm not going to click confirm because I am not searching for a job, um, but that is how you would choose the session. So you want to make sure that you're coming in to the career fair, that you are registered. If you're not registered yet, you'll click on the register button and then you will be prompted to find available sessions. Make sure that you're double checking uh, between now and the fair. Our employers are continuing to add additional times. So if there's an employer that you're interested in meeting with, but they don't have a session open now, they might have one open as the week progresses. I know that they're in there um, adjusting their schedules as they can. So make sure that you're double checking between now and the fair, um, and then you're coming into this available sessions piece and then clicking on those to find those ones that are um, available. Does that answer the question for the um, for the student that was not able to choose sessions? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the home page in order to schedule an appointment with us so that you can have a resume review. Uh, we can talk about networking tips, um, internships, search assistance, um, career readiness, anything. Um, you're going to want to come into the home page. You'll click on career center in the upper right hand corner and this is where you can manage appointments you would just click on this appointments tile and then you can schedule a new appointment when you do that you'll choose student appointments and then just let us know what you want to come and meet about so if you want um, internship exploration and resources you can come in and find a time um, and that's how you would schedule it and so you would tell us a little bit more about who you are make sure that you register with our office and then we would meet with you at that time Wonderful. I'm so glad that you were able to um, find some sessions that you can uh, attend, OB. That's wonderful. Okay. So um, any questions about the career fair, interacting with employers while you're there, how to get ready, um, how to schedule an appointment with our team if you want more resources, anything like that? If you don't have any now, that's okay. Um, as you think about it and you want to reach out to us, here is all of our contact information. Please reach out to us by email or phone if you have any questions or also on social media. This is a great place um, to check for any upcoming opportunities, whether it's internships, jobs, career fairs, events with employers. Um, my teammate Kirsten is constantly putting information out there um, and Anita is helping her with that. So make sure that you're double checking those. Um, connect with us on LinkedIn um, if you want to if you want 
uh, to, to connect with us there as you're building your uh, LinkedIn profiles. We also have a great website. Um, it will continue to update, um, but we also have the second link here. We have a Canvas community page with a resource library. Um, so make sure that you check that out. You would just go to Canvas and find C Career and Professional Development, uh, go to Modules, and then you would find our uh, resource fair there. Um, actually, Obi, this uh, presentation will be on our YouTube channel. Um, that you can reference anytime. Um, we are TMUCT CPD. All right. So with that, I will go ahead and stop the recording. I really appreciate y'all coming and uh, hanging out with me today and talking about internships, getting some information and inspiration on how you can get started. Um, a little bit more about what an in, uh, internship is. Hopefully, um, I've demystified it for you a little bit so it feels a little less scary um, applying for it. And of course, um, stay career ready, warriors. <laughs>